Max NG7M here again for another uh, exciting installment of my uh, tower project. And today, actually yesterday and today, I've been working on the uh, junction boxes, the mounts, and drilling a hole in my house. Right. That was exciting. So I thought I would just kind of show you the end result of the uh, boxes. None of the, uh, well, the junction box, I have the aluminum ground plane in but nothing's really in there yet so uh, there'll be a couple segments here just give you an idea and hopefully uh, maybe this will show somebody else how not to do it or maybe give you some ideas that I thought were good so my tower isn't too far from the shack and um, I'll flip the camera around here and we'll um, we'll see what we can um, do so here we go as you can see here's the junction box and I've got to get a plug in for uh, KF7P. I know a lot of guys have been using him now. Uh, Chris is great. I don't know if you can see that. I'm giving a shameless plug to his uh, uh, metal works. And um, I know Chris, his shop is about um, 35 miles from my QTH. So um, I don't have any other reason other than he makes good stuff and either outsources the work, but he puts good, good gear together. Anyway, here's my LM470 used tower. It's up, you may have seen some of the other videos. And uh, the junction box here is, I think this is one of the larger junction boxes, but anyway, the, the base is really nice. At first I thought I was gonna mount it to the tower, but <clears throat> after I started looking, I just couldn't come up with a good way to do it. But Chris sells this galvanized uh, base for the, for the junction boxes or entry panel, I guess for that matter, maybe primarily the junction boxes, I guess. But um, I, I drilled um, half inch holes, about five, inch, five inches deep, and boy, you get the right uh, hammer drill, it'll, it's like going through wood. So these are five and a half inch bolts holding that thing down, and it is rock solid. Um, but you can see the ground plane, uh, copper ground plane plates in here, and the grommets. Uh, just nice and heavy duty, nice hinges. Um, Kudos to Chris for putting this stuff together. The paint job's nice. And uh, the back, you can kind of see that. The tower's in the way. But um, that's the uh, junction box. I'll, I'll do some more video when I get it all popular. I got a lot of work to do on the wiring and, and uh, you know, have some, uh, you know, just the grounding of the coax on this end and then lightning arresters on the other end. So. That's the uh, junction box. Get a little shot from afar here. And um, in relation to the house, uh, you can see over there is the entry panel, which we'll get to next. So that's the junction box. Right here we have the entry panel, and I've been working on that this morning. I've got some of my old coax just drilled through, but I'm going to get rid of all that, bring them through the uh, entry panel, tidy that up. Um, by the time I got it mounted, my shack, this is a daylighted rambler, as you can see here. And so my shack is in this, <coughs> um, not that it matters, but it's a the southwest corner of my house here. And so I cut back the trees. I got a little yard work to do, clean this up. But the, the uh, entry panel is really nice, and I, I'm happy with the way things turned out. And um, the color, too, for this, this color of brick. And I've got some direct sun here. So there again, KF7P. Chris um, plug for him and I don't have the uh, uh, ground plane in this one at all but they'll they'll be um, all the control cable um, you know spurious voltage arresters and then lightning arresters for all the coax and you can see the grommets um, but what I wanted to focus on was the uh, entry into the house you can see you know I drilled a perfectly good hole inside this uh, or in this brick wall here going into my room and I'll have another you know just keep watching and then I'll get inside the shack you can see my messy shack for now and you can see what I came up with <clears throat> now Chris this is a two and a it's, it's um the inner diameter is two inches you get a lot of coax through two inches so um, don't be alarmed if you know at first glance you're thinking oh I need a four inch hole or something just you know I could probably get easily you know eight plus coaxes through there and I just won't have that many but Chris sells the uh, junction or the uh, bulkhead there and uh, it's just electrical PVC 
but it was nice to actually get his because he had used it and it fits the hole that he had uh, put in the box directly. And then I, I bought a three inch wet dry concrete bit, which wasn't cheap. It was by the time I checked around uh, as far as renting, I just ended up buying one on Amazon uh, with the uh, bit. And then I borrowed a, a I could use a corded drill, but I had a, a nice hammer drill. And of course, I didn't use the hammer mow to drill through the brick, but it, it went through nice. And the bit, which I, I'll try to get a shot of that too later, uh, is deep enough that it made it through the brick and um, actually all the way through into the uh, drywall, into the shack. It's higher up in the room, the shack, which you'll see shortly. But that gives you an idea. I um, used smaller uh, quarter inch holes for these um, concrete molly bolts, for lack of a better, lack of a better um, description. But boy, it's solid. And then I used a heavy um, weather stripping, and I don't know if you're going to see it there. I've got static pictures, and I'll put a link to the static pictures, but it's completely sealed up against the brick. And I maybe should have done this video in the evening. But, you know, why do it in the evening when it's cool when you can do it when it's 90 degrees, right? So I'm not sure if you're going to see that, but the static pictures will show the the weather stripping. It is sealed up, I mean, and solid, rock solid. Um, so, and then of course the box itself is sealed. And I'll do another video with it all populated and get all the coax done and, and the lightning arresters and everything in there and, and the uh, copper strap that'll be going down to the ground rods and the whole bit. So, um, next stop I'll go in the shack and show you what I came with, up with on the two inch inner diameter electrical PVC. Is that PVC? I get them confused. Anyway, <clears throat> what I found was a three inch adapter on the inside and I'll, I'll give you the details on that shortly. Here's a quick shot of the bit I purchased. And by the time, I, so the, the hammer drill I had, which again, I didn't use this in hammer drill mode. Um, the, the chuck, I mean the best price I could find on a chuck. I, I just didn't want to pony up for an SDS plus um, shank to go into the bit, but the bit was about 57 bucks on Amazon, which it would have cost me more than that to rent it because everybody wanted to rent the hammer drill with it in my case. And then the the chuck, Amazon, 11 bucks. The shank um, was like, I can't remember, 10 bucks. Anyway, it was painful, right? A three inch outer diameter hole for 80 bucks shipped from Amazon. Um, here's the hammer drill. And, um, everything's kind of a mess. I've been trying to get as much done as I can. This was the quarter inch drill that I used for the holes for the molly bolts on the entry panel. And um, in the background, you can hear the neighbor kids. So if you've never used a hammer drill before, uh, amazing boy, as soon as you stick it in the hammer mode, uh, for like the concrete base, kind of backtracking to the uh, uh, junction box on the tower, I, I couldn't believe it drill those half inch holes down in the concrete. Uh, as soon as you kick it in hammer mode, it's like a hot knife going through butter. It was it was amazing. I hadn't had experience with one of these little Bosch hammer drills, but all right, we'll head on into the shack now. I'll show you how I uh, completed the uh, PVC coming into the shack there. All right, here we are in the uh, messy shack here, so no judging me for my messy shack because I'm in the middle of this project. So <laughs> what I wanted to show you uh, for the conduit coming through from the uh, entry panel into the shack here is the uh, the gray PVC here that came with Chris's entry panel. Well, I think it's an option. Uh, I wanted to buy it mainly for the bulkhead, um, but uh, you know it, it showed me what you know he's done, what, what some of the other guys have done that's been buying his stuff, and. Um, I went to the big box store, Lowe's in this case, and in the electrical section I found this two inch, so that the pipe here is two inch inner diameter, okay, so it's a clean two inch inner diameter, but they have these three inch to two inch adapters, and uh, they're, they're really designed with, um, I ground off the outer edge because I wanted this, so the outer diameter of this thing is three and a half inches, so I cut a three inch outer diameter hole in the brick because the bulkhead is actually smaller than that. Um, if you look at the static pictures, I'll, I'll post a link to it. 
you can see the uh, bulkhead before I put the junction box on. But um, this this works out perfectly, and I'll actually show you where I fit it in. And I don't think I'm gonna have to glue anything because uh, it's a nice snug fit and very really clean. Um, I cleaned it all up, made sure it's probably an overkill, but I ground off any of the sharp edges. So the idea here is the coax will just droop out of this as it comes out of the wall, um, you know, about an inch and a half um, up above the corner of my shack here, which you'll she see shortly. I'll do another segment. So, um, you know, that's going to be going through the drywall and then through the, I can't remember, they probably have some vapor barrier there, um, insulation. And then finally through the uh, outer brick there that you saw with the entry panel. But um, uh, nice, and I really don't think I'm going to have to glue any of this. It's just got a nice snug fit. I can pull it out, rework it, whatever I need to do. Um, so it's just tight, tidy. Um, pretty happy with it. Maybe somebody else has some good ideas or suggestions they can make in the comments. So I'll actually show you. Um, I'll get up on my desk there and um, and. Uh, actually, you can see the hole up here. Uh, I've got a little re retouching to do if I get motivated, but there's the uh, hole enlarged to three and a half inches. So I came through with the three inch outer diameter core bit, and um, the way it was positioned, I had to cut off a piece of my modular shelving bracket there. Um, but here, give me a chance, and I'll get up here and I'll actually try to video on putting the uh, piece of conduit in and I'll show you how the nice tight fit worked out with the two to three inch adapter, that solid PVC adapter. All right, now I'm up here on the desk and uh, you can see the, it's it's actually solid. And so you get that nice, nice uh, um, tight fitting there with the PVC. And um, of course I prepped it, got it all cut to the right length here. And, and um, let's see how it, it fits in get it through the wall and it's it's easy to find the the fitting on the other side so you know you've got the uh, two inch coupler on the other side that's threaded that goes into the uh, entry panel but um, well, if you take your time and cut it in nice you know once you you know snug that in um, it's good to go and we'll see you know if I feel like I need to take this out in the short term but I I may um, caulk around this and find some of the old paint from 11 years ago when we built the house and clean this up up here. But this will be the uh, coax coming into the shack here. And I like the way that that turned out. Uh, I feel like the it's uh, protected you know, really well from the weather with the weather stripping. Um, there is um, some openings which I'll plug in all those in the bottom of the entry panel. Um, there's a quite a few holes for coax to come in but I've got plenty of plugs and if push came to shove you know you could put some additional foam in there and just really seal that up and it's not going to be a problem uh, in the winter so that's how I did it um, and um, you probably see a little light out there if I would have opened the uh, um, box up but that gives you an idea of um, these are nine foot ceilings in the basement here so I'm that close to the ceiling and you saw where I was standing in relation to the uh, entry panel outside so as I've said over and over in the other videos I hope somebody finds this useful and um, gets some good ideas or ideas of what not to do NG7M bye